Hello there, Aries, and welcome back for another tarot reading. Today, Aries, this is another general reading pertaining to your person. Uh, it's your lover's energy about you, Aries. Okay, it's your lover's, not your love, but your lover's. Uh, what is the energy uh, pertaining to Aries with Aries lovers, okay? So whoever your lover is, be it a current lover or a past lover, that's the energy that's going to show up in this reading, okay? So uh, this is a general, like I said, so it may or may not resonate with you. Uh, if you feel like the roles need to be reversed, go ahead on and reverse them, although we're pulling your lover's energy, okay? Uh, so like I said, this is a general, so if it doesn't resonate, uh, you could always get in uh, get in on the 20 for 20, $20 for 20 minute personal readings. I will leave that in the description box below. So I'm using the Romance Angel Oracle decks as you can see here. I'm using the top and the bottom. And I have you a nine card spread here uh, for your lover's energy about you, Aries. And as you can see, the first card straight out the jump is deception here. It says deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. Now see, Aries, I was instantly drawn to your person. I was just here going to say it's your person that's deceptive and they're wearing this mask, but it could very well be you, my darling Aries. It, it could be. I'm just saying it could be you. Just follow me. But someone is not showing their real authentic self. Someone is, is faking the funk here. And I really feel like someone is not showing what they really desire in this connection because they ultimately fear that it's not going to work out. That's the deception I feel like it is. Because underneath the bottom of the deck here, we have give your relationship a chance here, Aries. <laughs> it says work on your partnership. This how you th now. This is the energy coming up pertaining to your lover energy towards you about you, Aries. And this person is like give your relationship another chance. Work on your partnership here. So I feel like if this is not your person acting like they don't want to get back with you, Aries, but really do want to get back with you then it is you, Aries, acting like you don't want this person, but you really do want to get back with this person. I'm just throwing it out there, okay? And see, look, the, the next card under we have chemistry. <laughs> it says there is a strong magnetic attraction here. You got damn right this person wants to come back. And hey, if it's a lot of chemistry, especially with you, Aries, you're the fire, honey, you that chick, honey, then quite naturally... Um, this person definitely is going to want to give this relationship a chance. And I think you want to give this relationship a chance too. I'm just saying, okay? Because look, your very first card here, Aries, we have um, the Ace of Wands here. That's your energy, uh, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius energy here. This is passion. I mean, it's just beautiful passion. Look at that color. Look at that color of beautiful passion here. That's your energy, Aries, here. This is a passionate, creative new beginning here. Something very passionately and creatively. Uh, but something that's just, just amazing, and it's a new beginning here. This is an ace, which represents a new beginning here. So I feel like your person wants a new beginning with you, Aries. But I feel like you probably want this new beginning, too. I feel like you the one faking the funk. Now, don't get mad at me, honey. I am just the messenger. I feel like ultimately you really deep down want to work on this connection, but you're probably telling everybody, I don't want him, uh-uh. But deep down inside in the midnight hour, when you lay up in the bed alone, you might be thinking about this person. That's all I'm saying. So underneath your Ace of Wands, we have more fire energy. We have the Two of Wands. I feel like you done already chose this person, Aries. Either you've already made up in your mind that this person is who you want, or this person has already made up in their mind, Aries, that they want you. Because you see the two of wands, this person is holding on to a wand as if they have chosen this one. And then you see the globe, and then you see the uh, vehicle, uh, the, the van, old hippie van thing there. So it's like someone who wants to set out on a new world adventure or someone to like like a life partner with. I feel like some this person has already chose you or or you have mentally already chose this person, but you're faking and acting like, you know, you ain't tripping and you don't want to be with this person. And maybe because underneath the two of ones, we have the Knight of Pentacles here, 
which is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn's energy here. Now, you know, Aries, I always tell you a little fine ass that the Knight of Pentacles um, is the slowest moving. Uh, oh, no, I always tell you. I'm sorry. <laughs> that Aries, you are a money maker magnet. It's just like your energy attracts your mates that they want to invest financially or, or work with you in some kind of way here. But I feel like maybe you're faking the funk or you have a deception energy on you. It's because this person may have made a lot of promises and they have yet to keep them here. So I feel like, yes, there was a lot of passion here because with you, Aries, that's a natural given passion here. But this person wants to come back and offer you. And then besides that, there's chemistry, hell of a chemistry between the two of you here. But I feel like when it came to planting them coins, uh, building the stability, yeah, the passion and the chemistry, that, hey, we know that was there. But what about the longevity of the relationship is what Aries wants to know. So I feel like this person may have made a lot of promises, but it took them so long to, or are you still waiting on these things to manifest here? Because, you know, Knight of Pentacles, it is something solid and reliable. It is a stable, it's earth. But look, look how long it's taken. It's like, damn, you know, you're getting a passion, but what about the stability? So now here we have the King of Pentacles here. Now, you would see fire in here and we see earth. We have more earth energy. Now, you could be dealing with anybody of these signs because I see much, pretty much everyone in here. You got earth, air, water, and you have fire. So now the King of Pentacles is earth. Now, this is how this person wants to come in now, Aries, here. Because like, like I said, this person could have been deceptive in the way that they may have been withheld and they may have not sowing, been sowing physically, uh, you know, materialistic wise into building a partnership with you but they sold hell of a in the passion of you so we know the king of pentacles is a very uh stable committed uh energy here you know he's very traditional he takes care of home you know he's about the pentacles so he's gonna make that money here so i feel like this person did not bring you that that in the past but they're wanting to bring it to you now so underneath your king of pentacles we have the six of pentacles here now i love this this deck this the um the light seers because the six of pentacles is more earth energy but we know that this is representative of the merchant being generous but you see you see you see one hand is one hand going to the other i feel like this king of pentacles now wants to come and give in to you because you know in a regular right away deck you see the merchant and you see the two bums just sitting there with their hands out and one person don't even look like they're getting the crumbs but this person is making sure that the pentacles go directly in your hand in fact this king of pentacles is pouring so much pentacles in your hand that they falling out because your hand just ain't big enough, Aries. Do you hear me? This is what this person wants to give you. But I feel like this person took too long, though, Aries, because underneath your six of pentacles, we have the eight of cups here. I feel like you walked away from your emotions because you were tired of waiting because it's right next to this knight of pentacles. I feel like you were in love with this person, but you were tired of waiting. You're just tired of waiting. <laughs> you know, it's like, look, we get along so good. There's a lot of chemistry, but damn, I'm not getting into Yongo. Is, what is it? So I feel like you walked away from your emotions from this person. It's eight of cups energy. So now we have the five of cups. So yeah, you walked away from your boss because this is a boss. This is the six figures king of pentacles. So now the boss is crying over spilt uh, shots, you know, old peach and rum shots or vodka shots or whatever you drink, whatever your thing is. So this five of cups is water energy, Scorpio cancer and Pisces energy. This is crying because of the loss here. This is feeling regretful. This person, look, this person so lost airs. All they can do is sit out underneath the stars and just cry out to the universe to send them their motherfucking Aries back. You feel me? Look at this person. This is your same person here. It broke them down when you left them Aries. That's all I'm saying because it was like, damn, I was coming. Shit, the traffic was full. I was coming though, but they were coming, you know, but I guess it took you leaving or turning your back in order for them to come. So now underneath your five of cups, we have the four swords here, which is air energy, Libra, Gemini, and of course it's energy. Now, you took a break. You walked away from your emotions, but I feel like you also took a break too. Either you took a break from this connection, Aries. Uh, we know you walked away from your emotions, but maybe you took a break to heal yourself. Or maybe your person got ill because your person had the five of cups. They were sick. They could have they you could they could have got sick when you left. You know, it could have did a number on them here. Because underneath this four of swords, we have the Empress here. This is how this person views you. Now, Aries, this could be your baby daddy. It could be your BM or your BD. BD was it baby daddy? Baby daddy or your baby mama. I don't know them little 
you know, initials or whatever. So, because, but look, this person, you know, and it could have been you, Aries, took a break to have a baby by this person. I'm just saying to recuperate because the Empress is, you can see that big ass stomach. That's life in there, honey. So, either you guys, either this person considered you their baby, your baby, because the Empress is a pampered. She, you know, you're not taking anything from her, but I'm saying the Empress can only stand in her power next to her emperor. She can't be next to no king of wands, no, no, you know, she can't be next to none of those other things. She has to be to her emperor here. So I feel like this king of wands is either, that's why I feel like you have a child by this person because I feel like if you're the empress, then this person should be the emperor. But maybe this is just showing that maybe you guys have children or maybe this person wants to put a baby in you for Valentine's Day. Aries, don't, don't act like you don't know. Yeah, dang, there's a lot of, look, there's a lot of chemistry between the two of you. This person trying to come give you the big one. Now, come on now. So, underneath the bottom of this deck, look, we have the lover. See? This person may be trying to get you pregnant, Aries. So, heads up. I'm just saying. Now, after this um, lover card now, we have the world card here. So now, if this person was given to someone else, Aries, it's because this person was taking so long to bring stability to your connection in this Knight of Pentacles, and it's because they had another lover, because this represents choices, you know, who you choose. Sometimes it represents having more than one lover as well. Then maybe your person, I feel like your person put an end to that. Your person completed this cycle, put an end to that because they choose you. And then this last card here, we have the Four of Pentacles here. Because this person is not releasing you. This person is still holding on to you. But they know they can't get you if they're holding on to someone else here. Because they can't give to you and give somewhere else. Now the Empress has to have it all. All right, Aries. That's how your love will feel about you, honey. So if this video resonates with you, my darling Aries, please like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment, please. Hit the notification bell. And I'll talk to you on the next video. Bye, Aries.